mobile elevator. <laughs> okay. Mobile. Always so that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to record a video podcast that's a split screen discussion where the host is on the left half of the screen and the guest is on the right half of the screen. The problem is, as you'll see when I drag this clip down, that's not how this file that I have here looks. This is gotten from a uh, video conferencing software and you'll see a few things. First of all, the guest is on the left or on the right rather and the host is on the left. I want to re uh, reverse that. I don't want the top and the bottom letterboxing. And the videos themselves are sized for full screen. So this video here is sized for full screen and this is sized for full screen. That makes it a little bit awkward to figure out how to do a split screen, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a several step process, but it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the video up here. We need two copies of the same video. That's easy enough. All we do is click on the video in our playlist. And while we're in playlist, press plus, which will duplicate the video. It's worth noting that you can't rename the videos up here. They're both going to have the same identical title. So we have to be very careful. And what I like to do is make it so that the video on the playlist top is the video track that is in the top of my timeline. And I'm going to uh, create a new track here. I'm going to add a video track and I'm going to take this bottom video. Uh, oops. It always seems to create in shotcut. The, the new video track goes on the top. So again, I want the top video to be the top video on my timeline. And then I want to move this bottom video to be the bottom video in my timeline. And I'm going to work on this top video first, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute and hide the bottom track so that it doesn't distract us. So we want to go into this top track here, and this will be the track where I put the host on the left side. The second track, I'll put the guest on the right side. So here, let's do that. So make sure you are on the top track in your playlist. You're going to go into filters and we're going to add two different filters, but we're going to add them one at a time here. The first filter we're going to add is what we're going to use to crop with. And that's a, 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 a filter called crop source. I have it added in my favorites. Of course, if you don't, you can go into here and find crop source. Notice I have that starred so it shows up in my favorites, but it is under video if you go into crop source. And this is what we use to actually t snip only the parts of the video that we want. So all I want is the host and I want enough video to give me half of the screen. So you'll see you have sliders, top, bottom, left, right. Now notice if I want to get rid of that guest on the left, I'm going to start with this left slider here and see sliding it in removes that guest from view. And I'm not only going to go here to where Robert's video is, I am going to go about to his shoulder because I have a feeling that's where half the screen is going to be. Remember, the video I got has both parties in full screen. So I need to reduce their size a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. You see, if I slide the right in, it does the same thing. It uh, gives me a little bit of that. Now I can remove the top letterbox by sliding the top border all the way up there. And I can take the bottom and do the exact same thing on the bottom. But of course, now the problem is that the host, Robert, is taking up the center of the screen. And it looks like he's going to fill more of more than half the screen. We have to check that. And here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to this time add a filter called Size, Position, and Rotate. Again, I have it in my favorites, but it's also under Video. Size, Position, and Rotate. If you double click on that, it gives you a whole bunch of options. We're not going to really do anything with this. We don't need to zoom the video or anything like that. All we want to do is pay attention to where it says Horizontal Fit. And since we want Robert on the left instead of the center, we're going to take him from the center and snap him left. Now we could also snap him right if we wanted, but snap him left. Now this also gives us a good opportunity to see if Robert is only taking up half the screen. And I was right, he's not. He's taking up more than half the screen. So now we can toggle back to crop source and we can start working on Robert. Now the goal here is to get him to take up half the screen, which is about right here. So that's what we're going to do. 
I'm going to take a little bit of the right off because I think we have a little bit of space there. And I'm going to take a little bit of the left off. I think we have a little bit of space there. Let's see. Okay, there we go. It, that should be about halfway. Uh, I think a little bit too much of his left side is is um, is cropped. So why, why don't I take a little bit more of the right off and take a little bit more of the left off there. Okay, there he is. It's it's a little bit more cropped than I'd like, but that takes up half the screen. Great. So this video is all set to go. Now we're going to go to this bottom video. Remember, I'm going to uncheck and unmute that. I'm going to check and mute the first video. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep the first video visible because this is actually, yeah, let me mute it for a second and I'll come back to it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this video. First uh, filter we're going to add is crop source. And instead of taking from the left side, we want to take from the right side. We want to get the host out of this video and focus only on the guests. So again, we're going to start with this left bit here. We're going to go here. Whoops, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing the wrong one. We're going to go to the right. See, go to the right here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the shoulder because in my experience, that's about what it's going to take. And again, we want to crop from the left. Let's take that top space out and let's take that bottom space out. If I'm going too fast, of course, feel free to stop and watch this again. Now I am going to add the filter that snaps him right, which is size, position, and rotate. We're going to do that. And again, we are only focused on this horizontal fit area. We are going to snap him right. And now here's where I'm going to make the other video visible again. Wow, I actually got this right. Um, I usually don't get it right on the first try. I usually have to do a little more adjusting. But let's say again, let's say that um, let's say that there was a little bit more creep than we wanted. Let's say that this was a little bit imperfect. See, we can actually do this again. And right, we don't want that black space in there. We want it to be smack dab up on the halfway marker. This looks really good. So now we have our left side and our right side in pretty good order. So the only other things I have to mention is if you want the audio to be playing from this conversation, remember both of the videos we have uh, have separate audio. So what you want to do is mute at least one of these. So I'm going to go into the bottom video and I'm going to mute audio mute, not video mute the video so that if you go and play this back, one of the two audios is working. The only other thing I should say is that there is no way to lock these two tracks together so that when you move one, you move both of them. So that means that if you were to move one video out here, you would have to manually go and move the other video and it snaps together, uh, at least if you have the snap icon set, and I would recommend it. You have them snap together, or if you want to cut out some of the video, let's put the playhead here, and let's say that we want to cut everything to the left of this playhead. You can only do this at one track at a time, so if you press S for that one track, make sure you press S for that other track and when you delete them remove them in a way that moves everything forward and again remove this one in a way that moves everything forward that way they're still aligned so if you cut one track or move one track you're going to have to do the other manually and i would recommend doing the cuts and moves together so that you keep every single thing aligned so that's how to do this long process but once you know how to do it it's really not hard in fact it's it's kind of fun in its own weird way anyway i hope that was useful